Greetings one and all, tis I, Demonic Brimption, and of course, welcome to the first segment of The Writing Demon, where I basically just rip off Melina Pendulum's Melina on Writing segment. Well, in a way, I guess you would say I'm ripping her off because I'm giving my own thoughts as an experienced writer on certain aspects of writing such as character development, certain character traits, certain plot traits and so forth and all that jizz and jazz. Anyway, um, of course, you can pretty much guess what the, uh, the today's subject is going to be about, quote unquote, dark characters. Or the angst-ridden, moody, supposedly quote-unquote emo types that um, people have grown so annoyed with over the years. Yeah, it seems that contrary to a uh, popular belief that um, it was established in, like, um, the, uh, I think it was throughout the 90s, and at least, which continued well into 2008 with the Dark Knight, it's like characters that are dark and brooding and moody are light. Yes and no. You see, dark characters only work because, well, well-written ones like Kratos or Spawn or Batman. Oftentimes, they're written in a way or a manner that causes you or allows the audience to kind of root for them. They start from their highest point and then they fall to their lowest in order for a climb back up. And the climb is usually slow and endearing, which allows the, the audience to either relate to them or root for them. Allow me to be a little more specific. The reason why characters like Wolverine, in Shadow, the Hedgehog, Batman, and in Kratos are liked is not because they're grim and great characters, it's because they each have a motivation. A motivation that you can either relate to, hardly in many cases, or just kind of feel sympathetic headache towards as they slowly go on like this journey to seek out their resolve. That's what makes a lot of dark characters so appealing. It's because they have a motivation and they seek to achieve it. This, however, seems to be the grandest misconception among fan fiction writers and as I've seen shamefully among some professional writers, which astounds me. Now, I understand that with companies like Marvel Comics or DC Comics or Image Comics, they're a business and they go with what appeals to many people. However, that is kind of the problem because it makes their professionalism look, well, terrible. I mean, take for example, like what happened to Tim Drake in Identity Crisis. Apparently they saw fit to kill off his father to make him a little more like Batman, as opposed to having him maintain his happy, lighter personality to be a counterbalance to Batman's brooding and grim personality. Which leads to the negative aspect that, or this misconception, and no dark characters because all a lot of people see and all that's really shown is drama, brooding, violence, moaning, despair, lots and lots of despair. When of course, even dark characters have their high moments, or rather, they should, because I don't know if this is well shown often or even noticed, but even dark characters at some point or another have a moment in time where they're not just brooding 
24 hours, 7 days a week. The thing is, there are quote unquote dark characters out there, out there whose angst and brooding is merely just a minor issue in their personality as they carry a little more dimension. This is a, the case simply with a lot of Marvel's characters, or at least it is in the hands of a good writer, where you have characters like Iron Man or Spider-Man or Wolverine. They have their issues, they have their faults, but they constantly work to overcome their faults. They surround themselves with people who actually care about them. They're not stuck in a corner and they're slitting their wrists and listening to and God help me for even saying this, Lincoln Park. Another aspect that seems to go, well, actually it's noticed quite a lot, it's the constant reminder of the dark past or the, the attribute of the quote-unquote angst-ridden or dark character that makes them different, that got them mocked or ostracized, ridiculed or whatever that are in their past and the fact that this thing is thrown in our faces over and over and over and over again simply to remind us that we should feel sorry for the poor sap I mean heck I was guilty of it at one point and this was long before it was shown to me how annoying this trope truly is which is why good writers, when they write a dark character or an angst written character, the reminder of what makes them different and got them ostracized or about the dark past is shown to us every once in a while. If in some cases like Batman, the plot requires it. It's like the in the episode of um, Batman the Animated Series. Is when uh, Harvey Dent becomes Two Face. Is we get like this um, scene where Batman's having a nightmare of seeing Harvey Dent become Two Face before seeing his deceased parents once more. That is how you do it, as it only happens rarely throughout the series. And if a character is going to be dark and brooding, well, the scenarios they have to undergo must very which is something I don't think a lot of fanfiction writers do and I am gonna look into this but I don't think comic book writers do it either simply because again hey supposedly people like dark and angsty written characters so they're not gonna care much oh 